the milk in the fridge. Yeah, let's do that. Look at the dealer. Look at the dealer. Look at the dealer. <laughs> That's what you call a bonfire. It's a ranger, but not a ranger. So if no one's driven a two-wheel drive before, and you know someone with a two-wheel drive, I'd definitely ask them to have a go because I can't believe I can't believe it's taken me this long to get one and driving it, it's like I always just thought oh, I'd just be another Ranger, but it's actually a lot different. Like um, you know, in the in the four-wheel drive you hang in the corner and your whole truck's leaning over and then it starts to skid. This thing just kind of goes around the corner no fast and then eventually it steps out and kind of skips. But no, I'm you know, it's, it's decent. She does smell a little bit of diesel after she'd been idling a little bit, but she's got no cat, so that's probably to be expected. But to be honest, when you leave her idling for 10 minutes and then rev the shit out of her to clear her out, you don't get any oil smoke or anything like that, so she's not too bad really. Go on and let's have a look underneath it. So yeah, the rear cross member's not great. She's got a couple of bits where it's starting to go through. That was the bit that was welded. And you can see he's done bogey welds and he's put some sort of mastic or something over the top to just cover it up. Don't know why, but he has. So that's the bit I'll probably redo. Obviously you put any brake lines on. I put this on. Yeah. Yeah, you get the idea, it's not mega bad. That's rattling a bit. And there's obviously that bit where the footwell is, but the bit around it's not too bad. And then it's just that bit there. And that bit's not good. A little bit there. A little bit coming out there. But the rest of it's pretty sound, you know. But it's not mega bad. Obviously it's right through where the holes are, but the rest of it's just got a bit of scab on it. it just gets worse as you go at the back, really. But, you know, it's gonna be a bit of a working vehicle as well, so. Oh, and another note. How does anyone put four inch fucking blocks on these? You're about two and a half inches there, and even if you cut down the bump stops, you're going to be riding on the bumps. Fuck's sakes, man, I should have strike while the arm was hot. I just been down to the body shop, and the tyres are all gone. There's four left. So that's no good, is it? Can't fucking believe it. They've been stacked up like eight foot high. The bumps. So just having a rough measure up, I can see that the wheels are 6J. 14s and the fucking brake drums like so close to the rim on them 14s um, but anyway 6j rim so 6 inches wide and then roughly um, from the like tyre mountain surface to the where it bolts up from the front is uh, about 25-30 mil so I'm going to say that these rims are like positive 48 positive 50 something like that so they're quite tucked in, and obviously the 4x4s are like positive 12 or something. It's not far off centre, you know. So with those Cadillac wheels, they'll probably sit pretty good. With those patrol wheels, they're going to sit, well, the 9J, so they'll sit an inch and a half out either side if the offset was the same. But the offset on those is like minus 40, I think it was, or something. Yeah, minus 38, I think I measured it at. So, what we're saying is, 38, 50, that's a shit ton of difference. Even say it's 80 mil. So they're going to stick out 80 mil more, and then they're going to stick out inch and a half. So what's that, 38 mil? So they're going to stick out 120 mil nearly. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to work, are they? Fucking hell. So we'll probably just uh, take the tyres off them and see if anyone wants them. Oh well, like we'll give it a shot, but I'm not I'm not confident that they're gonna fit really. Alright, we're stuck in traffic. Um basically we got all the wheels off. 
all the Cadillac wheels anyway. The patrol wheels didn't want to shift, the bead breaker wasn't touching them, so we might have to run over with the tractor to break the beads or go somewhere with a band's bank in your tire machine, aren't they? Um, yeah, I'm going to try them. Them patrol ones, I'm really, they really ain't going to fit, but we'll give them a go. What I might do is just get a grinder and just <laughs> chop that tire to a 25 um, and then give it a go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to jack up the car later, pull the wheels off, give the Ranger wheels like a proper measure and just see what they actually are. And then take this back to Halfords because that pin wants to come out of there. She's a bit fucked. I might have used it on the impact. Um, and I got a nip down the motorist centre, get another key cut for this because I only carry one key. Um, yeah, I got me, got all me uh, dimensions for the new winch bumper. So they should be coming Monday, hopefully. They were gonna come Thursday, but they didn't, and they didn't come yesterday, so it should be a Monday. Then I can bend them and send them out next week. Thanks for those of you who've been waiting for that slim line one because yeah, things ain't been fast, put it that way. So thanks for sticking with me. Um, and then once they're sent out and the first three guys are building them, I'm looking forward to the pictures of them. So post a load of pictures up. And I might actually give this truck a wash. I know I said I weren't going to wash it, but I had to follow a gritter the other night. And the front's covered in pink grit, so we'll get that off. Just want to make sure I get it all off. Otherwise, putting water on salt just basically made a nice rust fucking solution. Even all the roads out this way at the moment, all the salt's dried off them, and the roads just look like fucking salt flats, to be honest. Not that they're flat, they're covered in fucking potholes. Um, me and Charlie might have a look down the back end of Newmarket tonight because we're both going out that way and just as luck would have it, I said, oh, you know, I'm doing this, this and this, picking up Jack. He goes, oh, well, I'm over there later on, so we might park at Igneal Way and walk up to a railway hut that we've found. I, I went down the A14 the other day and was just looking outside window and found a, uh, spotted an old railway hut of some sort. So I looked at it on Google Maps and it's a good half mile, three quarters of a mile from the nearest path or road. So we've got a bit of a walk on our hands tonight, but we're gonna go have a look at that and see what it is. It might be a signal box, I don't know. We'll see. Tell you what, I think it might be gearbox, but um, have a listen to turbo. It does whistle a little bit. I'm not sure because that's the way skate is spring operated or what, I don't know, but you can definitely hear a little bit of gearbox, what's the word? Like chatter, if you like. It does sound a little bit loose. <laughs> 